Hey, welcome back. Uh, this is another vlog. Uh, today I'm washing up my clothes, thought it was about time. Uh, so I got most of them in this tub here to soak in water. Then I'm going to move them to this tub, where it's, which has uh, also got detergent in it. Uh, and then clean them in here. So I'll be like scrubbing. Um, once that's clean, I'll move them into this tub where I just wash them out with water, pour out the water, fill it up again and, and keep like washing them out until the water runs clean and all the detergent is out. Um, then I'll move the clothes from here to the towel to just to dry um, a little bit. And once that's not sort of dripping, I can move them outside. Oh, the washing line's too far away, but um, it's somewhere over there. Um, I'm terrified someone's going to nick it because somebody stole my barbecue. I don't know what use they'd have of my clothes, but um, then again, what use would you have of a barbecue in the uh, freezing cold? But um, yeah, I kind of lost the race against the uh, sun. The sun's gone down now, so I'm sort of doing it in the dark. But um, yeah, that's what I'm doing this evening. I'm just uh, trying to wash up. It's going to take ages though, because I've uh, never had to wash my clothes before. Uh, and um, that's kind of funny when you, once you think about it. I think me and like my whole generation is quite privileged in that we've never had to wash our own clothes, which is kind of strange if you think about it. We've always had machines to do the job for us. Um, yeah, it just sounds kind of weird to me. Um, and I don't know about you, but uh, I definitely didn't know how to wash clothes before I had to look it up. And I doubt many people today... Uh, at least in my generation, know how to do it. Um, so yeah. Um, and um, another thing, washing machines, um, they've changed our expectations of what is clean, which is sort of an unintended side effect. So before... Before um, people would uh, spend less time washing up until, and then when the washing machine was invented, um, people actually start to have now now spend more time than ever washing up, which um, is because our expectations of what is clean have now changed. Like when I'm washing up here, um, if I see like a really stubborn spot or something, um, as long as it's clean, as long as it um, doesn't smell, <laughs> as long as it's hygienic, I'm fine to. Um, just give up after a few tries of like trying to wash it up. As long as it's clean, it's fine. But if I'm sure like many people, if they see like a spot um, after like taking it out of the washing machine, I'll just put it straight back in again because that's no longer considered clean. Like our standards have suddenly uh, been altered. And that's, it's just a funny thing about technology. Like it, it, it has side effects that you'd never expect. Um, and uh, <laughs> the window's open by the way, because of uh, the uh, smell. Um, I think it's the detergent. I hope it's the detergent and not my clothes. <laughs> I hope they're not that bad. Um, but yeah, um, what else? Yeah, another example was um, ironing. Because um, before we had the technology to remove every single wrinkle from a shirt, it was acceptable. It was You could be smart while, not, while having a creased shirt. But like nowadays, you almost have to... You almost have to iron a shirt in order to be considered like, uh, almost to be considered to have like smart dress. Um, so yeah, it's weird. You're, you're expected to have to use the specific technology, um, and to, to have to use energy that isn't actually necessary. Um, yeah, I just think that's interesting. Uh, today, I also went to the Department of Sustainability uh, at my university. And uh, I went into the office and somebody said to me, oh, you're famous in this office. Um, and I tried to play it cool, but like, inside I was like, whoa. <laughs> um, and someone else said, um, yeah, I've been looking at your blog. And inside I was like, somebody's been looking at my blog? Like, without me telling them to? Um, and then someone was like, yeah, I showed it to my dad. Um, so yeah, like, mind blown. <laughs> uh, did not expect that. Um, yeah, so um, they're actually, I went there to um, hand in this uh, article that I wrote about what I'm doing with my life at the moment. Um, and they're going to be pub publishing that in about two weeks in their monthly um, sustainability um, newsletter. Yeah, so that's going to that's gonna re reach loads of people. Um, so if you're from 
that newsletter. Hi, welcome. If you're from the Department of Sustainability, you rock. And uh, <laughs> yeah, um, 